In this lesson in Educator.com's uh, lessons on WordPress, we're going to talk about a, an exciting new feature called widgets. Now, widgets are pretty much the thing that kind of adds on to the uh, WordPress software. It's sort of like the apps in an iPhone, the extra little features in your car. What the so widgets are, and this is what really popularized uh, WordPress for many of us. We're going to go into widgets. Well, first of all, we're going to talk about what they are, and then where to find them, and of course, how to handling them, and of course, dragging and dropping. You'll understand what I'm going to talk about in just a few seconds over here. So, what are widgets? Well, widgets are basically uh, a piece of coding, or I guess some people like to call it software, but not really. To me, it's coding that adds to WordPress. Okay, so you're adding an extra component, extra features. Uh, I'll just write this all down. Extra, that's one ugly E. Extra components. Okay, extra features, extra bells and whistles. Okay. It's just extra stuff. And so, in other words, there, but basically, like I mentioned before, it's coding that you usually have to install. And don't worry about installing it, that's going to be covered in the next lesson. So, or sometimes WordPress has widgets that are pre-installed, as we will uh, see in a second here. And so, we're going to discuss where to find them. So, it's just basically add-ons, and uh, in other words, they're also called plugins. Okay, it's just a nice, nifty way of calling plugins that appear on the right side. And I don't know why they call it. I think it's right or left side of the uh, WordPress. And we'll show you in a second here. We'll go to a browser. And widgets on the right hand side from recent posts to archives, meta, blog roll, those are all widgets. Okay, they give, they provide extra information. And it usually appears on this side, but depending on the theme that you choose, it can also appear on the other side, the left side, or maybe even uh, two sides, okay, as we're about to find out. So uh, let's move on to the next slide and see what we're talking about here. Okay, so this is the widgets page. And if you were to go to your browser, basically, and open up your WordPress, by the way. So basically what you do is you scroll down, <clears throat> until you hit appearance uh, and, and then you see the widgets uh, link over there and then you'll be taken to the widgets page and in the widgets page are already pre-installed widgets okay so these are widgets that are already installed now some of them you'll have to install yourself but a lot of times WordPress especially uh, you know the WordPress that is hosted in the WordPress uh, servers, like I'd mentioned, WordPress.org, I believe it was. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, open that account, and you will see that a lot of widgets have already been pre-installed. And let's look at some of my accounts here that have already been opened. As you can see right here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and increase the size. I always have to do that every now and then. 